Drink your water. Do your stuff. You managed to find a replacement bedroll for the screw up that you did last or episode or so ago. Who knows how many? Hello, everybody. This is Frogman, and welcome back to the Long Dark and our faithful cartographer, Interloper Run. Last episode, we I did uh, quite a bit of work, actually. I do believe we got our wolf coat built finally. We did a few other things, and then we realized that we had left our bedroll laying around somewhere. So, let's see. Am I capable of visiting anything right now, or is it just too foggy out there to do anything? We are currently hanging out in the Winding River, which is where we needed to go to get a replacement bedroll. So, I think what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take one more little bitty nap, even though our food level is getting down a little low. And we're going to see if that goes away so we can map where we're at. So, sleep for an hour. Little foggy mess, go away. And if not, well, then we're just going to head to the dam and do the work. Okay, cool. That's kind of what I figured we were going to see as the way this game has been, or at least this run. We're going to go over here. We're going to do a real quick evaluation of what's local to us, and if there's anything that we need to go ahead and put down in here to, to maybe, well, I'm talking anything we're going to put down. I don't think there's going to be a thing we're going to put down. We're bringing it all with us. Let's go up on top of the hill, do the little magic walk, and see if there's anything over here that's going to be good for our further on production of what we're going to do. We are probably going to come back through this specific transition zone when we go to Pleasant Valley and when we go to Timberwolf Mountain because I think we're just going to go, once we get Bleak done, speaking of... I could eat anything right Yeah, now. once we get to Bleak and we get Bleak done, we're going to make a, a straight beeline for two places. Uh, we're going to beeline straight for the Hush River Valley so we can nail that one little place. And then we're going to finish everything in Milton that we haven't done already. And then we're going to go into Mystery Lake, finish Mystery Lake. And then go straight to Ash Canyon. In that whole mess somewhere... I want to find a moose and get the moose skin down somewhere, somehow. I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to do this all in a specific fashion, and I would really, really love it if we could get a hold of a, uh, uh, you know, a thing. Can I do it? Nope, still can't. Uh, let's have a cattail real quick. We'll snack on those. We'll snack on those in a minute. I think I'm going to leave that deer that's over here. I think... We don't need him right now. I think our goal for today is we're going to go roll the dice on the ravine. We're going to see if we're going to get lucky enough to get a hold of the rope in the ravine. We're also going to dump a whole bunch of stuff and see what happens. So we'll go back exactly up the way we came down. We'll we'll just do this zone eventually. Eventually, as being the way things work. Yes, I know. I'm already over and encumbered and all that wonderful stuff. Um, you know what, actually? How many sticks do you own right now? Drop three of them right there and that. For later. Yeah, for later. We'll probably need them for later. So I'm going to run through the fog. We're going to go into the dam and loot the dam, and then we're going to go to the ravine. So I will see you guys when we get to the dam, because this is not very cool. Oh, hey, wait a minute. Hey, 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 wait a minute. I know this. I don't think there's a whole lot in here to map, but we do. You know what? We're, we're here. We're here. I was going to say, it's starting, it's starting to clear. Let's. Can I get it? I'm going to eat one cattail and see if I can get the fog to go away. Can I map? Cool. All right. Nice. No, still not. All right. Well, we'll leave him sit there. He should be back when we come through in like a week. Maybe. We'll see. That'll be a test. We mapped it. We'll see what happens. So... Let's see if we can map up here as we go through it back into the dam, and then we'll go loot the dam, and we'll, like I said, hope we're a rope in the ravine. If not, well, we're going to have to go get one. But I would really love to just get all of Bleak done in one run.
One one fell swoop. Eh, come on, up the snowdrift. Now we can pick up more sticks. Okay, so I think let's go stand by the door right here. Do it again. I could eat anything. All right, there's the Carter, Carter Hydro Dam. Beautiful. Have a, another cattail. I should actually. Did I look? Is it down here? Let me look. No. Okay, not today. Starting to feel numb. It's probably right there. Yeah. I don't care. There's never anything in those things on Loper. Ever. Let's go indoors. I'll take your scrap metal, though. We need to fix our hacksaw. And I may go ahead and take this deer since it's right here. Because more likely what we'll do, we'll, we will very, pr more than likely, we will never come back in the dam this direction ever again. On this run specifically. So, we'll grab this guy and any feather he may have. I would love it if the sun would come out. Light it. They fixed this too. You used to not be able to make them that close, a fire that close. I'm assuming. Used to be you had to put it clear up on the snowdrift. I've not been able to make a fire right here in forever. Come on, little fire. Come on. Alrighty then, little fire. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. It's a little fire. It'll work. Let's get us a stick. Piece of coal. Whoop, not that. Should be warm. Yes. All right, cool. Give me give me some breakfast. I guess I should have used the saw, but whatever. We'll fix the saw when we get inside. Gonna I'm going to take a little bit of time and make some arrows as well, even though those, the, the addition of the blue. We're going to hope for a red kit, like right inside this door over here. So uh, that's going to take 30 minutes. Can I get those off in 30 minutes without losing all of my well-fed bonus? Please. No. Excellent. Finish it. Eat it. Awesome. Drink some water because we have a lot of water on us. I was going to leave that water in Winding River and I forgot about it in the cave, whatever. And then you can get pulled off. How long do we have? Plenty. Go. Pull. And then we can take a torch inside. Can you select the right thing? There we go. Now we are going to go check one more thing since we're up here. So take a torch. Let's go check one more thing. I never get this anymore, but maybe it's here this time. Nope, not here this time. All right, let's go loot the dam. Or at least, yeah, we're going to loot the whole thing. We're going to check the whole thing today. What's left, what we didn't do prior. Well, nobody needs this anymore. I'll take some accelerant. Never hurts this early in the game or late in the game or whatever at this point. Never does hurt. All righty. Are we going to get any of the good stuff aside from this? How good is this, this pot is this time? Handy. It's not nearly as good as it usually is. That pot's usually like 90%. So let's see. Leather gloves. Yes, we will take some. We, we, I guess we don't have anything on us right now that's leather. Anything in the trash? I can. No, we just have a little bit of cloth. Man, at the sewing kits. You can stay. Well, we'll take it, but we'll leave it up top. Do I have a lot of torches on me, or do we just have one or two? We have a few. Eh, we'll just let this one burn out. I don't need them. I can see. 
I know we wasted a match, and that's fine. I don't really honestly think it's going to matter. Please. Red toolkit. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Excellent. Wonderful. It. Beautiful. Awesome. What do we get in these? We're going to go get our pry bar real fast. Give me one second. Hope nobody needs Getting a little anymore. bit of food. That's good. Have that one. Which one was it? Stale. The 50% I'll eat. That one we'll save until it's late, late at night. And I think we'll go ahead and eat the dog food as well. These two things we can wait till we're getting ready to go to bed. At least at the level of, of condition and health she's in right now. We're okay with that. So let's check all these containers. I've had a lot of luck with those lockers just to the other side of us over here. A lot of luck getting some really good stuff out of them. And in reality, all we're after right now is, is some, you know, better sweaters. Come on, sweater. They're all of them locked. Come on, give me something. Typical. Utterly typical. Well, we got the red toolkit, which is about all I really care about at this point, because the red toolkit means we can craft arrows in a reasonably quick amount of time now instead of the hour or whatever it is that it takes. Hour and a half or whatever. Even the blue blue toolkit is a good thing to find. Oh yeah, that's where we are on that one. I knew that was gonna be here somewhere. That that means that the hammer should be in here too somewhere, right? Or the hammer is in I think the hammer's in trappers. If it's not sitting right like here over on that desk, it's in trappers. Another whetstone. Bucket, nothing here. Go ahead, grab that while you're at it. Getting dark, so we're going to need to move forward reasonably paceful. Uh, grab that one, too, while we're at it. It's only going to take ten minutes. Get us a couple of more pieces of cloth. It never hurts. So we're going to make a stash at the top side of the dam once again. Good God at all the sewing kits. All right, well, that was quick through that section. Not nearly as good as I'd hoped for. <sighs> huh. So we didn't end up with a whole lot. I was expecting to get a little bit more stuff than that. Let's see. So let's grab everything out of here. Just take it all. Uh, you're going to haul it all up to the top. Regardless, we're just going to go haul it up to the top. We're going to sort it out. Bring the water. I know she's going to be really heavy, but that's fine. We'll be all right. We'll take all of this up top. I feel like you walk really slow in this room regardless. So that means that thing can stay in the building, which we'll take it. Yeah, it's fine. It's all right. We'll, we're going to leave a bunch of this stuff up here. We have a whole bunch of things we screwed up and brought with us. 
So we're going to get to the top of the stairs up here. I'm going to go into the, well, we're going to go to the little crafting table. We're going to make a bunch of arrows so that we can move on with a reasonable amount of armament. And then we're going to probably go sleep either in the dam or in the, well, we got to do the up upstairs st still. So time is it. We may just go do that real quick. Yeah, we'll put all the stuff in here for now. Water can go down. There's too much water in your inventory. You, walk with this much you are fine. My God, you make so much complaining noise. All right. Uh, we have enough to make all of that wonderful stuff, I think. We're pretty close. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm real close. So we'll leave anything excess in here. So cured, cured. I may go ahead and make that before we leave. I know it's kind of silly to be carrying two, bolt, two, two things around all the time, but let's put a few of these things down so they can start curing because we will come back through this area once we get done with some of the other things. And let's see what we can put away that we don't really need right now. I'm going to hang on to that because, well, I mean, we just picked up a better hacksaw, so I guess I don't. We'll repair it anyway. We'll just repair that one. And I, I don't need that many sewing kits. We'll take two. I don't need all of these either. And I do not need that. <sighs> I can't believe I still have 20 arrowheads. I must have gone absolutely crazy making arrowheads. Absolutely. We don't need that. We don't need that. Those are just junk. These can stay in here for now in case we need spares. And all of that looks pretty good to the point I may leave one of those behind at this point. Okay. I'm going to go over here, and for what's left of the daylight, I'm going to craft a few arrows, and we're going to go on to the ravine. All right. Food roulette. And you never eat these unless you have a full line of health and are expected to get sick. If they're under 75%. Wow, look at that. Iron Gut Astrid. Gotta love it. Some days. Some days. Hilarious. Okay, well, we're gonna go sleep. Because we have a blizzard. Hey, cool. Finally. Fire starting expert. Beautiful. That's why you keep these stupid books around. Fire starting expert is going to give us where is fire starting right here. Um, fire starting 25% as far as last 25% longer and 75% chance to start fires, which means we're at a point now. I think well fires are just about almost completely totally capable of happening all the time. We do have cabin fever cabin fever risk because we've spent enough time indoors. So let's go ahead, eat, drink, sleep and go pray that there's a rope in the ravine arrowheads this is when we're going to start doing this how many arrows do we have on us right now we have arrows not arrowheads i have 10 arrows on me all right i'm putting all of these in here save for two well let's say five we'll bring five extra arrowheads with us and i'm going to leave seven of these behind and then that means we need 30 feathers from here on out we're not going to carry any more than that and actually which one of these was probably done well doesn't matter we'll sort that in a second where is what was i looking for feathers feathers 30 feathers 12 you can do math it's simple 30 feathers cloth that can go i have nothing to use leather on right now so there's no reason to carry it and I am going to bring enough stuff to build a bow should we need to build a bow. We're going to have to get down into the ravine here fairly shortly without anything else. So let's make sure we have enough to build one bow. Drop any of this gear. And then we're going to leave a pot behind. This one I'm going to leave behind. 
I'm gonna fill up my lantern. No. You know what you're doing, just hit refuel. We have one more shot on this bow that we currently have. We have one more shot on it. Uh, I will bring this. I know it's kind of one of those things. It's, it's a lot of weight to carry around. I'm going to bring it because the time it saves us is just totally necessary. We're going to bring two whetstones, even though I don't think we're probably going to need to. Uh, actually, we're just going to leave that one behind. Sounds like the blizzard picked back up. Love it. Which one of these did we read? B. Go. Drop that one. We'll put it up here. We'll get some time where we're going to need it. We have enough water to get through the day. Drink what's left of your water. <sighs> Let's go to the ravine. Yeah, I know I'm going to be heavy. It's fine. It's no big deal. We need to get some food. Get your bow. Man, all I can think about is food. We'll have some in the ravine, maybe, if we care. Are you serious on me right now? Okay, well, fine. I'll uh, I'll stay in here and and you know. I guess. How far are we from archery four a long ways? I hate crafting arrows for no reason. All right, well, I'm gonna read a book. I need to find food. <laughs> wow. Oh, right. We were going to leave a few of those behind, weren't we? Let's leave. That's enough. Since they'll never go bad anyway. Here we go playing with that once again. Let's read our book up, I guess, and see if we can't get a little bit more skill points for that. Finish it. Oh, we need to go upstairs. What am I doing? I could eat anything right now. Well, that's out of our life. That that pound and a half is gone. Let's, we still have a little bit of time, I suppose. I was going to go to the ravine in this episode, but you know, we're, we're going to be playing with a blizzard. So let's go upstairs and do this real fast. There's very rarely anything good up here, but I do like to at least check the lockers. So let's go all the way back to the office. expected that but you know sometimes you just kind of well go okay I kind of figured we would get a little bit of something in here 
again, we're, we're, we're at that point where the game is starting to get a little long in its own head as far as interloper is concerned, so... Food items are going to start becoming scarce in our searches, and the clothing that we're going to be finding is going to be in very poor repair, if we find any at all. I'm hoping that by the time we make it to Timberwolf that the, the, uh, the, the stuff that's there should still be okay. Like I said, I think we're going to make a mad dash run for Timberwolf as soon as we get done with Bleak Inlet. Timberwolf, some of Timberwolf, we're going to go to Ash Canyon and get the backpack and try to hopefully end up with some clothing. There's, that's one of the things about Ash Canyon and Timberwolf is that we will end up with a lot of the clothing we don't have right now, which is a pair of socks and two... Uh, two things, and we might get lucky and in a, in a long, long, long time. I have not had one, but we might get lucky and get the bear coat in Ash Canyon. Not that it really would matter that much, because the bear coat, when it shows up in Ash Canyon, is usually in such disrepair that it is no better than a wolf coat, so... It would require us to go kill a bear and get a bear pelt down. So I usually tend to rip them up and then go kill one bear and cure it. Sounds like it's quiet. All right, let's go to the ravine. Everybody cross your fingers for a rope. Might as well get it while we're here, right? Ooh, we're a little low oh, on charcoal. Starving. Not good. I probably should have grabbed some charcoal. Okay, whatever. We're, we're, we'll, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. All right. First spot, Raven Falls. We're kind of moving along nicely. I'm really happy with how quickly we're kind of moving through a few of these areas. Yes, we're not getting everything. I understand it. But we should be able to cover some of what we're... You know what? Don't grab any sticks right now. You need to go to the other side of the map. We need to do the three checks. It's already dark. We'll be sleeping outdoors tonight as it is. It doesn't really matter. We need to go get... Uh, I have plenty of cattails, I think. And there's two or three deer carcasses here, so we'll be fine. We need the rope. We need to figure out whether the rope is here today before we end this episode. My luck usually is okay. Usually I'll get it. Usually. I know a lot of people just go grab a rope. I don't have a problem going back and getting it. We need to map the location I'd go to anyway. crunchy cattail stock or a really dead rancid deer over here please 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 be here
Not here. All right, cool. Uh, that's weird. I don't know as I've ever found that here before. It's supposed to be down in the... Must be prepared for anything. That's not enough in that one to even bother carrying around. All right, let's go check the other cave real fast. No, oh, we're starting to get stutters. That means I've been playing too long. Let's see if we can get this sorted out or at least figured out we have it or not, and then we'll worry about it, but that's not good. I see a piece of coal. Thank you. I can't feel my hands. Yeah, I know. It's sitting right there. It's fine. We'll come back in just a second. If we get the rope, we're going to put it up and then go sleep in the cave. Or maybe we will just go down tonight and sleep in the one down at the bottom. Let's see if we get the rope first. We'll just see what happens. If we get the rope, we'll probably sleep in the bottom of the ravine tonight. Can you eat trees? You and your trees, man. You, you always worried about trees. You were a doctor, not a tree hugger. Not that I guess you can't be both, but... Let me guess, this is going to be the time I'm going to have to go back and get a rope. Hooray, ladies and gentlemen. Freezing. We get a can of dusty tomato soup and no rope. Okay. Well, since we're really long on this episode, we at least made it to the ravine. I am going to probably just go ahead, warm her up real quick in here. Have a cattail or two oh, dark out here. Time to look for just shelter. to get her up and be good. She's plenty, she's plenty not tired. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go harvest a couple of rabbits, or I should say we're going to go catch a couple of rabbits that are out here. We're going to go harvest a deer or two. I'm just going to clean up everything that's in the uh, ravine right now, and then uh, we'll park it in the other cave on the other side so that everything is readily and simply available for us when we need it. We're going to have to go back to Mystery Lake to go get a rope, which means we're going to take another day to go get a rope and a few other things. So we'll uh, see how that all works out. I am probably going to cut it here as far as the recording for the day. I've been at it for a couple hours, so we'll just see what we feel like in the next however long. But thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you all next time.